you know, social media, this is why I, social media is a gift and a curse. Because here you have this woman, her name on Instagram, we're going to get into it. Her name is Row Reports. That is her name on Instagram. It's Row Reports. Row underscore reports. Now, I don't know if she took her post down, but uh, or she has another page. She has 18,000 followers on this particular page. She claimed that she has a uh is is a PhD in Ivy League queen. There's a website, I don't know if it's a real website on her profile that says angry black Muslim woman. Not even Muslim, it's Muslim woman. Can't even spell, but she educated. <laughs> what are we doing here, man? Like what are we doing here? Her name is Ro Bache, right? And she's and she's making it seem like like black men are just out here beating on her and refusing to help. Let me tell you something about American black men. American black men are going to jump in. If they see a woman, especially a woman that they are attracted to, they're going to jump in there unless she provoked the fight. I believe she provoked this fight. I believe it. I believe she provoked it. I'm a pan African. And yet I watch a video where an individual who claimed to have been a bystander said that she provoked it. Also personally, I am not with lesbianism or misandry and she is both. I absolutely, I, I believe that too, bro. I'm, I'm, and, and, and that's just, that just, you're adding to what I already thought. So I, I heard it was a Haitian guy that hit her. FBA men wouldn't let that. Right. You telling me that these black simps that man, we <laughs> ain't nobody going to hop into a situation quicker than an Americanized black man. I have seen it. They have done experiments where a man and a woman will get into an altercation and if the woman was an aggressor, nobody will jump in. But when the reverse happened and the man was the aggressor, everybody was jumping in. Everybody was jumping in. Everybody was trying to save that woman. Make sure y'all like the stream. Ain't no American men, period. is going to sit there and allow a woman to get beat on. That's just not going to happen. Okay. What's the name of the video? You can uh, link me to send a link to me on Twitter or Instagram common sense. I definitely would like to see that, but we're going to get to this video here. I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of y'all are here. Y'all want to see what is Jay? What is Jay cooking? What is he cooking? Okay. This is a video from a year ago, right? But no, no, the first portion of the video is from a year ago, and then it cuts into her when she is in the hospital, right? She did that in front of other white people. <laughs> yeah, send it to me. I'll play it. Now, this is the rest of the video. I got to turn it because I don't want to play it. music. Now, that's her right there with another. I'm. I'm a, this is a woman. You got these two women. Now, I, I don't know where she went when everything popped off. Did she run? Was she the one that hit her in the face with a brick? And she's blaming black men. Not black men who actually hit her, but black men who stood by. Right? Like, where was this person that, that she was with? Like, I got to show off the assets. You know, they know they're, they know the only worth they have is showing their assets, right? Now, this is after she got hit in the face. Don't know where the friend is. The ski mask is off. <laughs> Listen, I don't condone violence. I really don't, I don't condone 
Nobody hitting this woman upside the head with a brick. But ladies and gentlemen, we don't know who started it. But according to people that are there, she provoked it. And I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. Nobody and they don't give a fuck. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking grabbed a rock and he hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. And is? all y'all just fucking watch. Y'all see, see, see that shit? Y'all see that shit? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Fuck all y'all niggas. Have I ever again? According to the reports I'm seeing, she provoked it. You have us have gonna learn. And again, I don't condone violence. I want y'all to hear me. I do not condone violence. But if you out here putting your hands on men, if you're out here getting in men's faces, if they react negative negatively, that is on you. Okay. That is on you. I can't defend you putting your hands on men and being disrespectful. Hold on. I got some uh, super chats here. Uh, let's see. Shout out to uh, Rob so so uh, Sawyer. So her was not a melanated man. Appreciate that. Also, shout out to Henry the Ninth. Says, Jay, one quick question. Where are all the I don't need no man for nothing women at? Heard, haven't heard that all weekend. You know, um... They're, 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 um, out here pretending like they need men. They're trying to pretend like they need men. These women are hypocrites, man. Any woman that claims she don't need a man is a complete hypocrite. Yes, she does. I mean, these heifers get horny too. Okay. They are hypocritical. They absolutely need men, but they put on a facade to fit their feminist narrative. It's to fit their feminist narrative. This woman provoked that fight. And, you know, when I, when I tell y'all, keep your hands to yourself. Stop putting your hands on people. Nothing will pop off. And, and again, you're in, in the Caribbean, one of these Caribbean countries, um, or somewhere where there's non-black American men. Those men are not going to be Captain Saver Heifer. They're just not. And for you to act like they're just supposed to fly in to rescue you, um, that is a fantasy, especially when you claim you don't need a man. And we're going to get into it because uh, Tyreek Nasheed put up a post and somebody left an interesting comment. And, I, and he, come, he, put her, he put her video there where she talks about how she basically doesn't need men. Shout out to Rob Sawyer again. Says, I don't think it has anything to do with the number. She's using her consequences as a means to get clout and attention. I pre uh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, comment says, I'm going to check it out. I've done to anybody in my life to deserve this. <laughs> I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he, he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these niggas is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me. Okay. So she says he's holding a brick. So what did you do when he was holding a brick? Did you, did you walk away? Or did you stand there and say, I bet you won't do it. I bet you won't do it. So a man picks up a brick. He's holding the brick. And you just stand there. You don't run away. You don't walk away. You just stood there and get hit in the face. See my face and they all just watch. And they let that nigga get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? Yeah, she do look like that Martin character. I don't even care about my face because I'm still going to be prettier than all of y'all niggas because I have a pretty heart. 
<laughs> but my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I would stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. I stand up for everybody. And nobody ever stands up for me. And my heart is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is you standing up right here. There's you standing there. <laughs> You know, how how did we get to this point? These are the questions you got to ask ourselves, right? How does it get to this point? Uh, hold on, let me let me check Twitter. Uh, okay, this is the video here. I'm gonna get to the video you sent me, Common Sense, but I want to show y'all why I call her a feminist. Okay. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. Oh, she says that women are the protectors and the providers. And they need to be kissing other women. So she is, maybe she is a lesbian, even though she has a young child. She has a young child, but she's a lesbian. Why all these lesbians got kids, man? And not grown kids. Young children. This woman has a young child, but sh but she says that black women need to be kissing on black women because black women are the protectors and the providers. We protect societies. We protect communities with our intellectual pro property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. Bitch, not even the three. <laughs> Hold up, King King Kaizen says she also slapped an old man in a wheelchair. Oh, she did. Oh, I ain't seen that video. If I could, if I get to that video before I before the live is over, I'll play that. I'm, this is why I don't feel sorry. Y'all y'all ready to feel sorry for these efforts? I don't. This is why you have to wait. You have to wait it out. Because men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. But we protect everybody, and we provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew! <laughs> so she's on the prowl. She's one of those. You know what I'm saying? She thinks she's a man. And there's a lot of black women just like this. Now, she's East African. She's not... An American, she, she I'm, well, she's an Americanized. Af See, Americanized African women are worse than black women in America because these African women come from patriarchal families. And when they get a taste of this American life and they get around, you know, uh, liberals, feminists, they become the most devout, the most staunch in their beliefs and that's why it's a dangerous combination <laughs> if i said princella <laughs> she's very staunch in her beliefs and usually most of these african women who come to america and get a little bit of this american freedom they lose their minds you can't tell them shit they think they know everything. <laughs> and don't forget, before there was feminism, it was lesbians. Oh. Who were living those lives without worried about niggas. Like, they oh. were not worried about niggas. Oh. They were Oh, they Oh, y'all what? Censoring men. So before there was feminism. Oh, she said they wasn't worrying about no men. She said they weren't what worrying about men? them N-words. Excuse me. Thank you. So they weren't worrying about you in words. That's what she's saying. She wasn't worried about you in words. They don't need us. But you needed us on that night. You got that brick in your face, according to you. You got that brick in your face, Heffa, and you needed us more than anything. And you're getting on this app capping. Amazing.